ンバー Say there, husband of the year. What are you doing just sitting around? <laughs> well, you could be sitting around huge savings at the Scenorial Day Tent Event Supra Sale. Gamble around the campfire, children. These Scenor card games were the Scenorial Day Tent thing that guy talked about. I won't be here forever, so come see me and this little dog for very low prices. 2005, 2004, 1999. Those are all good years. Don't let another minute go you by. <sighs> hey there, River Peoples! Come check out my circumstance this Scenario Day weekend for Bob Fireworks. We're so tired of low savings, we're giving them this boot. Would I lie to my own flesh and blood? That's why, Bubba Daddy. Yes, excuse me, sir. Can I have some tremendous savings? And your autograph? My left name is Tremendous Savings, Miss America. Go out for a pass. You bet! Hit me on the slant! Bring on down your whole family. We'll set up some tents and hot dogs for your babies. Those like those, right? We're going gaga over slash prices. Uh, Our competition is a total racket. Uh, We're getting ahead of the rest. Uh, I'm the hoppity frog of value. Huh? We're holding up a novelty rubber chicken and playing the cartoony sound effect. Of savings! You do not want to miss any scenario of day savings action. Wake up! Scenario day is here with the vengeance. Uh, Mr. Sonor, sir, can I have my football back? You bet. How about I hit you on the slant? I'm gonna get me a touchdown! So come down around my bubba concession step, my bu my, my consent. Oh. I even wrote this stuff and I can't remember my own lens. So come on by for Bub's Odathon, where you'll save like a demon, or my name ain't Bub's Concession Stand. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's time for pinball. Check it out. <clears throat> Check it out. It's 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 Scenorial Day, and I'm here to celebrate with uh, the most American tradition of all time, which is pinball. Are you looking for some classic gaming? Nintendo Switch Online members have instant access to a large library of Super NES trademark. And NES games. Oh, my mouth isn't working. Oh, my mouth is working. I thought my I might. It's because I was whispering. Excuse me. Uh, let me start with this copy from the top. <clears throat> Looking for some classic gaming? Nintendo Switch Online members have instant access to a large library of Super NES trademark and NES trademark games, including classics like the Super Mario World, Super Metroid, and Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past games all trademark more games were added so here's a list to catch you up rival turf punch kick and slam your way through six stages of rough and tough action solo or with a friend or battle against a friend or rival in versus mode jack flack and uzi nelson bring their brawling skills to the street against big al and his gang of miscreants otherwise known as the street king Test out a myriad of street fighting techniques against waves of enemies as a lone hero or bring a sidekick. Boring. 
Congo's caper. A club and a little courage are all Congo needs. In this action game, originally released in 1993, you can catch up with Congo as some demon kid swoops in out of nowhere and kidnaps Conget? Really? Uh, sorry, ahem. <clears throat> Uh, as Congo, you set out to rescue her and set things right. Luckily, a super kid like Congo knows how to perform all sorts of jump attack combos. And once Congo collects three magic rubies, he turns into Super Congo. Also boring. I don't care. This is what I'm really here for. <clears throat> pinball. Hit targets and rack up points in this classic pinball game. Featuring a bonus mode starring Nintendo's legendary character, Mario. Might have heard of him. You control our hero as he holds a platform and uses it to keep the ball in the air. Your goal is to save Pauline. If she falls and hits the ground, you lose a ball. However, if you save her and lead her to the exit, you'll get a nice surprise. This game is easy to learn and includes bonus balls for high scorers and a two-player mode. Don't have a Nintendo Switch Online membership yet? In addition to getting access to a selection of 100 plus Super NES and NES games, you'll be able to play with your friends online, back up your save data to the cloud, and use voice chat with other players via the smartphone app in compatible games, and get access to members only special offers. Oh. What the fuck is this? This isn't pinball. Get the get this shit out of here. Get the shit out of here. Get the shit out of here. Where the fuck is pinball? What the fuck is this? That doesn't have pinball. Oh fuck, I haven't downloaded Pinball yet. It's a good thing I made all that extra room. <sighs> There's like a little gap on my stream layout. It's fucking me up a little bit. Oh, fuck, there's something new to play. Before I reveal whatever this new thing is, I'm just gonna, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's okay if my little, uh... There we go. There we go. It's okay if my little paw, pawsy is baffing the, the corner of the screen if it's big. Are you ready? I wonder what the new game is. <gasps> it's pinball! Hey, did I did my stream title not change? Hang on. Give me a sec here. I apologize. I have to let everybody know that I'm playing pinball. It's not working. Oh, my go live notification said open world emerald. Okay. Well, uh, welcome to pinball. Oh, just taking that beautiful, beautiful pinball noise. Look at that great logo. Oh, it does say that on my stream layout. That's what the problem is. Well, let's just watch this attract mode real quick while I fix my stream title. This is not... We're done with Open World Emerald. Uh, that, that's that's long gone. Um, I mean, it was we had a good time. Uh, I heard... I learned recently that there's going to be a big update where they port all of Kanto from Fire Red and Leaf Green into Pokemon Emerald to be part of the open world that is in Emerald. And that's kind of inside, inside it. In, I was going to say insane and exciting, and came out as in, insaning or inciting. Uh, uh, 
There we go. Look, I'm coming in a little hot here. I got back from shopping for groceries an hour ago, and then I made that pinball edit of Sonorial Day in like 20 minutes. And I also set up my <laughs> my stream, my capture card again in that same amount of time. Anyway. So, as you can see, we're going to be hatching some eggs. Uh, we gotta we gotta hatch some eggs, find some pinballs, get that Joker. That or sorry, that's the Jack. Uh, Joker Joker card is not legal. I'm I have fucked up. Let's see. I'm in control now. Hey, hang on. A and B both. Oh, okay. So like the D-pad is the left bumper and the the buttons are the right bumper. That's a little odd. Oh fuck, it's the bonus stage. There he is, Pin Boy. Let's play Breakout. This is great cuz it's pinball and breakout. It's two games in one. Like... This is not... This is, uh, you know, I'm playing pinball here. But this is not just, you know... I'm not playing this casually here. I, I have not played this game in years. But I am... I, I am serious about the, the, the high score attempts tag. I, I am going to get a high score. Will it be the high score? I don't know. I'll check what the high score of all time in NES Pinball is when I'm done. Oh. Well, I, this is, you know, that I, I, of course I'm going to try as hard as I can on this attempt, but, you know, uh... You know how it goes. Like, like the first one's never going to be the, the the good one. So I, I after this attempt, I will check to see what the high score of all time in pinball for the NES is. Oh, give me that infinite! Do you know how long I've waited for this? Do you know how long I've waited for this? They really held out on pinball with. For for the for the NES online app. Cause you know, they, they knew like like once they put this out, this was like their last really good first party game that they really hadn't, you know, given to us yet. I mean Duck Hunt, sure, Mysterious Murasame Castle, sure, but like Pinball. Like, there, this is, like, like the Donkey Kong Jr. math, maybe that's pretty good. They, they're, this is, you know, they're not going to top this. They're, this is, like, the last hurrah, really. And I love the, I love the Arctic theming. The seals, there's penguins. Ugh. All right, all right. That's a pretty good first attempt. 25, 25K. 25K. Uh, let me see. NES Pinball High Score. Let's see. Cyberscore.me.uk. Damn, this site ain't loaned so good. Hang on. I want to see the high scores, damn it. Uh, okay, it looks like the high score is... 
Okay. Uh, set by an uh, Italian player named Zymer uh, in 2017, uh, uh, January 17th, 2017. Uh, 620,830 is what you got to shoot for if you want that high score. I feel like I could do that. Like, 25,000? Like, that? How? that's not too bad. That's not too bad. 25,000 on my first try? Like, if I keep grinding at this, I can get to 620. 620,000. Uh, second place is Game Wizard X from 2011, and theirs is 595,710. This seems pretty doable. I'm gonna I'm going for it. I'm going for it. All right, top twenty five thousand seven hundred ninety. Easy peasy. Easy clap, as the kids say. I don't know why the kids say that, but they do say it. Look it up. No, 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 you don't roll over there. I have to get the high score, damn it. No, no, no. Yes, back to the top, baby. Don't go in that hole, damn it! I want to see Mario! The legendary game character! No! Oh, alright, alright. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. I can, I can... No! Who needs extra balls? One ball is all I need. Oh, shit, Pinboy fan art? Uh, Pinboy was honestly like a component of this game that I was not initially familiar with because it's not like you can really see the box art for this game in Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Like, I guess it's there. I I'm sure like the, the texture for it, for the NES model, uh, you know has like the little little pin boy box art like I'm like no <sighs> um but I, I I you know it, it's not really easy to make out the pin boy on the cover in animal crossing uh I, I think I only really came to appreciate pin boy the mascot of pinball uh you know uh, more recently yes no I honestly forget how I did the Mar how I went to Mario's zone. But I think that's going to be really cru- Is it the the top corner there? Is that the Mario hole? No. Oh. No. And I even had those Metool helmets. Damn it. Game B is heavier and slightly more realistic. Well, I want I want the realism. I want that grit. I got you know. I I I wish that the board was like browner and like maybe there were some trees and the trees had really good textures. Not not game freak trees, that's for sure. Uh, you know, to 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 really give me that realism. But. Oh, this is going better. I think I think this was the I think game game mode B is where this is this is the real shit. This is the for the for the for the true pinball gamers. Oh combo! Oh I love getting that like I love landing that infinite. I don't 
notice any difference immediately in all seriousness, but like I'm sure I am doing better, I feel like. <laughs> so <laughs> the heavier ball probably good. I, maybe it's just placebo effect. No. Oh, give me those points! Oh, damn it! Folks, I will put on some music eventually, but for now, like, I just kind of want to appreciate pinball, at, you know, as it is. The base experience of pinball, like... It's contemplative. All right, all right, all right. Not as high as my table A score, but pretty good. Fun little Easter egg, those default numbers, uh, the, the, the 733, that corresponds to Shigeru Miyamoto's birthday, July 33rd. Did you know that, gaming? Just a little Easter egg, you know? Nintendo doesn't really make them like this anymore with the little personal touches. It's all corporate now. You don't, you don't really get those little, you know, the, the human side of, of the, the people who made the games. That's what I, you know, really appreciate about, appreciate about you know, these old ones. Nope. No! Oh shit, I got the bumpers! Thank you, thank you, baby birds! That's huge! As long as, as, long as I don't die in the middle- No! <laughs> Let me see Tulip's Pin Boy fan art. Hang on. Oh my goodness. I'm going to just put this on stream real quick. Thank you, Tulip. If I can, if I can do this, hang on. I love the little eggs and chicks of Pinball Pinboy. I love that he has them. He Pinboy is is a little man of nature is the thing. I'm gonna just put this, you know put this in the corner for good luck, if that's quite alright. Let's see, and There we go. Yeah. 
he will be here with me. Thank you, Tulip. Okay. But I gotta keep my eyes on the prize. If I don't keep playing, this isn't endurance training. You know, I don't really know shit about pinball, I gotta be honest. Like, pinball's cool. A couple of months ago, I was hanging out with uh, a certain stream co-host of mine. And uh, we were watching, like, a fighting game tournament. It was, like, a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament. And it was it, it, for whatever reason, like at the at that convention center, that 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 tournament venue, uh, they were also doing like a massive like global pinball tournament. Um. Uh, it, so like when the, when the when the Marvel vs. Capcom three tournament was over, they like hosted the pinball channel and. Uh, we, we got really sucked into it. We, we kind of just watched... Oh my god, wait! <gasps> I got all the Pac-Man orbs and now the, now the seals are losing it! Fuck yes! This is everything I've ever wanted in life! I need to do this again! Fuck what I was talking about! Uh, we we kind of just kept watching the pinball tournament uh, on like a lark, but we both got really like very very genuinely <laughs> invested in it. Like like for one thing, um, it, it's uh, you know, I, I don't I don't know how to say this politely it, with all due respect and love to to the the pinball masters. Uh, a lot of the tables they were playing were extremely boomer. Like, like they had some like really like classic, uh, really old pinball machine that was like themed around a sexy jungle babe. Uh, like it was just like a sexy jungle babe. Uh, like, like she looked like she would be on the back of like a like a truck mud flap, and she was just front and center in the pinball table. And uh, <laughs> it felt like. And then you know the, the, the you know the, these the, these pinball dads they were they were you know not crude about the this this jungle babe but they were like just hearing them like talk like talk this up like this is one of the you know the greatest classic pinball tables of all time you know uh you know the the, the uh this is one of the originals like the, getting a getting a high score on this table is art and, and they meant it very sincerely and they were they were talking just about like you know respect for the genre like. But, like, the juxtaposition of this, like, very high, uh, high caliber, like, golf-esque, uh, you know, calm and collected, um, uh, commentary, while, like, a ball is just, like, zooming all over the place in front of a sexy jungle babe. Uh, <laughs> it's very, very funny. No, no. Oh wait, I'm still doing okay. I'm still doing okay. The idea of a sexy pinball babe is just really funny in general because, like, you're not gonna. How are you gonna pay attention to that? How how am I gonna look at the big pinball, the pink sexy pinball baby boob 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 babe? Um, when I'm playing pinball, like, this is an intense cerebral game, like, as it is, all of my losses have just been because, like, the seals start doing something cool. Ugh, give me that infinite. Mm. There's gotta be some way I can, like, influence the ball RNG to, like, with with the with the flippers, if I like flip them in, in a certain way, do high score. No. Have I played Yoku's Island Express? I have not. 
If I get one million points, um... I, that would be kind of insane, because apparently nobody has gotten a million points in this. The, the point counter doesn't even go up to a million. But, I mean, I guess I have to try. I guess I have to try. Like, I, I gotta get that record. I wanna- I gotta get on the board, at least. You know, no matter how long it takes. I, I, you know, I, I am doing like like kind of a bit here, you know, with, with uh, you know, with with the uh, the the insane dedication to NES pinball. But like, I have actually wanted to do like a, a stream for a, for a while now, where I really focus hard on one of these very old and simple NES games that were like in the uh, it part of the Animal Crossing uh, experience. Because I do have I do have some like very genuine affection for this. I have not played this in a very long time, but like uh, you know, it's it's a it's a very nostalgic game for me. Just because just because of uh, Animal Crossing, really. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and and you know, like I think uh, you know very sincerely, I think you know all games sort of deserve some appreciation on this level even even the really simple ones you know that i um have a lot of affection for like arcade type like like classic arcade high score games and they're a little out of fashion these days uh but you know they uh you know i i just it's fun to make a number get big in a score type game <gasps> ball Ball, 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 ball. I'm saving that for later so I can review the ball. <gasps> yes! Oh, all right, all right. This is it. This is it. This is gonna be a. This is gonna be a hell of a new high score. Maybe I could free Pauline. Okay, come on. I want to see what happens if you free Pauline, but all right, all right. That 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 attempt was busted anyway. Hey, that's a good that's a good Pauline frame. Okay, okay, okay. This does not count. This is not part of the. This is not part of the score run. After after I I see what happens when Pauline exits, um, I'm resetting the game. Yeah, the, I, I'm making it clear, you know, I'm, I want to play honorably here, but I want to see all the features of pinball. Oh, God damn it. Oh, fuck, yes! Okay, well, that's cool, and now I- now I know. <sighs> it's a little weird that she goes back up there. Uh, unfortunately, resetting lost my high score. We- we all know it's 30k. Thirty K on mode B. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Maybe I can get it canonically. Okay. What's Pauline even doing up there? Come on, Mario, kick the ball.
<clears throat> real, real help, Mario. You're, you're. Look, Mario. I want the orange guy. I want Pin Boy. Hang on. Uh, no. Let me just. You know, I want this guy. I want this guy. I want this guy. Mario has only let me down so far. Pinboy, look at him. He's got such, like, he's got speed lines. He's got, you know, you, you can tell he's got got a really good sense of trajectory. He, you know, he he understands that that Hanzo, Hanzo Overwatch symbol geometry. He would be, if he was in this game properly, um, you know, I, I would have the high score already. But, well, no. I wouldn't have the high score already because the high score would be higher. Uh, you know, all, all the other gamers who are on that leaderboard would have higher scores because he'd get them higher scores. Anyway. Oh, uh. I want Mo B. They should put the, uh, the 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 soccer the soccer players from NES Soccer into Mario Strikers on the Switch, and I am not joking. They should do like a, a like a fun like remix of the the soccer theme. Soccer is another good one. I was thinking that too, Banshee Need. I was thinking that they should do um, an SP version of Pinball where, damn it, uh, where they, uh, you know, they, they put you right on the, the Mario and Pauline board. So, you, and like, you're, you're set up just in time to see Pauline, like, uh, you know, fall down and you can help her out and you get to see, you know, the cutscene of her using the exit. Oh man, those, those penguins kick ass, man. I don't know why the top of the board is like arctic themed, but it's it's cool. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, God damn it. I want to go back up. No! Yeah, like, uh, you know, it was really cool watching that pinball tournament a few months ago, and, um, but I, I, I do have to admit I have no idea what the, like, principles of pinball are, like, I, I don't have quite have an understanding of the, the physics of pinball, like, you know, uh, how to really influence the ball. In a, in a game such as this. I could see, like, a pinball... A pinball sicko... Exit? Don't mind if I do. I could see a pinball sicko, like, watching me play this and being like, no, 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 Evan. This is... <sighs> this is not how you do it. Here I go. Yes! Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. The, the, the things have turned turned in my favor. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No! No! I, I enjoy the thought of the principles of pinball as being like a, an elite four situation for pinball. Yes, 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 no. All right, I got that ace. I don't know what the cards do yet. I still haven't figured that one out. No! I fucked that up. Let me see what 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 uh, what Nintendo has to say about this game. Like now, what's what's the details on this? Hit targets and rack up points in this classic pinball game. Oh wait, I read this, didn't I? This is exactly. Oh wait, no, this isn't exactly it. Featuring a bonus mode starring Nintendo's legendary character Mario, you control our hero as he holds a platform and uses it to keep the ball in the air. Your goal is to save Pauline. If she hits and falls to the ground, you lose a ball, but if you save her and lead her to the exit, you'll get a nice surprise. This game is fun and easy to learn and includes bonus... Okay, I did read this. This is the same thing that was on the, the, the news page. I want bonus balls. That legendary character, Mario. I hate how they, like, organize this by default, by the way. Real quick, uh, this is not pinball. This is not pinball. Please forgive me for what I'm about to do, but, uh... Where is it? It's tennis... Where's pinball? Where is soccer? I just want to. I just want to play for everybody. The music. There we go. Soccer. I'm blind. I like this song. I like all the music in this game. I should do a stream of this sometime, but real quick, I just want to have you hear the music of pinball, of soccer, soccer, soccer. Yeah, fuck you, orange team. Hey, look at that guy, that's awesome, but this is not pinball. I'll play that some other time. That's a good game. Fuck, I should do a stream where I get a friend to play to play Eddie as soccer with me one on one. Got that online? These apps got that online play. Okay. Is this A or B? I don't I don't I wasn't quite paying attention. Shit. It doesn't matter. I don't I don't need to, it doesn't really matter what mode I play as long as I get the high score. No! I 
gotta maximize my points better. Like, I'm never gonna get the high score if I'm averaging, like, 8, 8k points per ball. Okay, well, I don't know how that happened. No, wait, no! Gotta be better about staying on the top, the top here, because it's... Mm, I want those eggs! I want to make the seals! Go! Okay, okay, okay. This is going pretty good, honestly. No, not no, no, I, I got my wish. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, new high score, new high score. Okay, yes! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. 40k is pretty freaking good. Okay, okay, okay. That was game B, too. I'm gonna create... I'm gonna create a save state for my high score, so that way there is no losing my high scores. I'm pretty happy about that. No, 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 that's... That, this is all progress. This is part of the grind. This is the endurance training. I'm not bummed. Setbacks are all part of the process. Like I don't I didn't look, I, I want I want to get the high score, but like I don't also don't expect I'm going to come in here and get it, you know, after like what, the half an hour, 40 minutes. Not good. Not a good first ball. Yes. Yes. Oh, you'll love to see that, folks. No! <laughs> I gotta get out of the habit of like lifting the lifting both bumpers at once because I feel like that screwed me over a bunch.
Physics is pretty much RNG. That is true. When Isaac Newton dropped the the shit from the from the tree, or whatever, uh, I'm pretty sure he noted that it was all just random. I'm pretty sure Isaac Newton, in his big laws of physics, is just saying like the law of physics is that there is no law. That's the law of physics. I want to be that penguin. They got to bring the they got to bring that penguin back in like a new game. That penguin should be in Smash Bros. And I'm not joking either. Can you imagine how cool like a pinball character would be in Smash Bros? Like like uh I guess it's it's kind of like, you know, you're you're kind of biting off a little bit of the the a little bit from like Duck Hunt and Game and Watch, and I don't, I don't like as much as I love those kind of characters. I don't know how many times you can really do that without it becoming kind of samey. But like, I can imagine like uh, okay. So Final Smash is like the, the 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 fucked up the fucked up Mario who's in the hole uh, is like playing Breakout and like bouncing the pinball all over the place. You play as the 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 the, the you play as the penguin, and, uh... Up Smash is the seal, uh, getting the ball, I think? Uh, I think, I think that you can just toss a ball around and, like, make it physics object around as, like, a playable mechanic. Yes! I don't know what that really got me, honestly, but it felt good. This is all still my first ball, damn. Ah, mm. Jinxed it. I am getting better at this is the fucked up part. Like, I am learning something. I am adapting. Okay. High score. Okay. I died. Uh, mentally, I think I am the the that like green gutter area that's on the on the top right. The one really green part. That's me.
got to get out of the habit of mashing both bumpers. Ugh, I did it again. Wait, I have an extra ball. I, did you get an extra ball at 50k? I thought I was out of balls. I'll have to review the footage. trying to, like, shake the table. I don't think there's a, sh a table shake mechanic in this. New high score, 65k. Let me see. Let me look over that. Uh, NES pinball high score. What was what was on that? What was on cyberscore.me.uk? Uh, let's see. There's 12 submissions. Uh, all right. So I would not be the bottom score on cyberscore.me.uk. Uh I would be I would be I would beat out Nick Speedrun Trainer, uh, who posted a a uh image proof score of twenty one thousand eight hundred and forty. Uh the next highest score is seventy one K. That's pretty attainable. So I'm at least the 12th best <laughs> pinball player in the world. Uh, well, hang on. Is there, is there any other, uh, are there any other, uh, leaderboards? This is just the top result one. I'm seeing a lot of broken tiny pick forum posts. Um, hey, I just learned a secret. I just learned something horrible about this game. Uh, in, 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 in looking at these high scores. At 50,000 points, you are awarded with an extra ball. Yes, that did happen. At 100k points, the game throws an unexpected challenge at you as the flippers disappear! When you reach 150k points, the flippers return. That's fucked up and I don't like it. That's evil. I guess we have to- I guess I have to keep going until I see this. Okay. 65k. It from from what I saw it looks like they just become invisible. Uh so you still have control over them, but they are like not you cannot see them. And then you have to get another 50,000 points to make to restore their image. So this is like an, an intended mechanic. That's not just like a glitch where like the score overflows or something. That's some like... That's some like... Uh, like uh, Tetris TGM shit. That's some pinball terror instinct for you.
there was that post that, that I saw going around yesterday of like, um, <laughs> so, like, like an auto generated page for, uh, like a, like a trainer for, uh, for, uh, uh Umineko episode one that had shit like infinite points and like modify time blast as like, you know, cheats you could use. I want I want to see what a trainer for NES pinball would would do according to like a, an auto generated website. I want to see what kind of like secret mechanics I'm missing. I bet this game has modified time blast too. Damn it! Ah, oh, I did it again! Mm. It's a bad pinball habit. My, like... My compulsion to, like, just mash the- mash both, uh, bumpers. Flippers. And I just sort of it, basically force it into the gutter. Ah. God, you know that that is tricky, and I bet that this game was like one of the first like good digital pinball games ever made. Probably like it's not perfect, but it's definitely pinball, right? Like. As a, as a critique, you know, like like in 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 complete fairness, I do like this game, but in complete fairness, the, the I I would say that the flipper physics feel like slightly off. It's hard to put it put it into words. Like something about it feels just like like there's a weight to it that doesn't feel right to me but i'm i don't know but but all, all that said like this is still pretty convincingly pinball like the the physics of it are pretty you know pretty good i cannot imagine a good it atari pinball game I can I cannot imagine that any Atari pinball game would have been uh, good at all. A Atari, Ata like old Atari games, uh, basically pre NES games are a big blind spot for me, and I, I would like to fill that in someday. I should play fucking uh. Jet Set Wally or whatever. God, I did so good that one that one run, and now I feel like I'm choking. Maybe I'm getting distracted. I need to like clear my thoughts. Okay, redemption. Ah, damn it. Kick the ball, Mario. Okay, okay, okay. 
I would have liked to stay. No! Come on, just keep doing this for a bit. Just stay here and just... Yeah, please? Thank you. I would have liked it if you did a little longer, but, like, that was pretty good. My ball control is terrible. Maybe what I need is some pinball music. Give me that 3D space ball, space, 3D space cadet pinball music. Give me it. Here we go. learned 3D 3D Space Cadet Pinball uh, had music because I tried playing it on my Steam Deck. It didn't work so good on my Steam Deck because I couldn't figure out how to make it recognize the controls of the Steam Deck, but I tried it. it honestly, the, the this this music feels dissonant from the tone of the world building in this, uh, Space Cadet 3D Pinball, if I'm being honest. I always kind of imagine it as being a lot more jovial. on, like, the, the, the 3D Space Cadet pinball guy, the 3D pinball Space Cadet, he seems like a pretty, a pretty, uh, pretty upbeat, you know, if, if you remember what he looks like. It doesn't seem like, you know, his mission in space is, like, super, super serious. not seen I have not successfully gotten all the cards that seems really hard to do honestly
I like the way the ball just sort of like rub a dub dubs itself when you when you hold it like this. Kian, I have never played full tilt pinball. I forgot that Space Cadet Pinball was like a demo at all. Now that you've said that, I remember that, but I forgot that aspect of it. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna just start over. I don't think that was a good life. A good first life. Good first ball. I can't call my balls lives. The balls do not die. I hate this. I hate this. I'll live with that one. Here's a question. Uh, favorite, like, pinball video game? I feel like most people's answer is going to be one of the two Pokemon pinball games. Um, I love a good pinball mini game. I don't think I've ever played a, like, fully dedicated pinball game that I actually like. Um, I have not played either of the Pokemon pinball games. I should. You know what? I should put that on my Steam Deck. I should put, uh... God, I I'm gonna put that on my Steam Deck. Uh, the... Ruby and Sapphire one. I know I'd like it. Um, I gotta think of some sort of pinball component to add to my ROM pack now. Um... Casinopolis in, in Sonic Adventure, you know, that that's that's the that's goaded with the sauce, as the kids say. Exit No! Why didn't I exit? Why did it shut off so quick? see the that K so bad. Ah, damn it. Oh, it just ends like that, huh? 
I didn't pick a particularly long loop. Okay, okay, okay. No! Uh, I guess it would be an ace, not a not another king in the full house. Hey, on the on like the TV show Full House, I, I have not watched a whole lot of it. I've seen like the episode where Urkel was in it for like for some reason. Did they all have like a like a some sort of like uh, playing thematic playing card connection? I bet they didn't, but it would be cool if there was like a like Uncle Jesse was like the spade and uh, Uncle Joey's the heart because he's doing all those funny voices. You can't say Homestuck in my chat, but I do I do want you to think about which of the Midnight Crew would correspond to which uncle of Full House. Just think about it on your own time. Do not discuss this. You are not allowed to discuss this. Just, you know, keep it in keep it in keep it in your mind and your heart. Oh hey, wait! High score? I was so busy thinking about I was so busy thinking about whole, uh, whole, uh, the full house, full homestuck. I didn't even realize I got a new high score. I was in the zone. <sighs> you want to know about Alanis by Alanis Morissette is about Uncle Joey? Or the actor who plays him? Hey, God, Alanis Morissette. You ought to know. I need to, I need to, hang on, hang on. You, you have derailed the stream with this information. S signal, uh, more, more sets departure from bubblegum rock to our to bubblegum pop to alternative rock features Dave Navarro and bassist Flea of Red Hot Chili Peppers, AKA Donnie Thornberry. Uh, reached top 10 in Canada, Australia, and the United States. It's about the song is about fucking Dave Coulier. Holy shit. I didn't know they dated. I don't know why I care, but Oh, in the 2021 documentary Jagged, Morissette denied the song is about Dave Coulier. Well, I guess that really puts it together. I it's funny that that's even discourse though. That's that's an interesting uh <laughs> I didn't know that key in. That's such good lore. I don't really I, I don't give a shit about any of this, but it's it's I, I just like lore and world building is the thing. And what's better world and lore building than Alanis Morissette was singing about Uncle Joey? And Bob Saget claimed that he was, like, there for parts of the song or something. Sometimes when you learn new facts about the world, it, it's, it's, instead of being Mandela affected, you're just, like, you're just learning lore and world building. You're finding, you're finding Chozo lore or pirate logs. That's what this is. Wikipedia is just a big page full of Chozo lore and pirate logs, if you ask me. I don't know 
know how I'm single when I'm saying really smart shit like this all the time. <laughs> okay, I need another chick. God, I'm hatching so many baby birds. Exit! No! Oh, Kirby's Pinball Land. I should play that, too. I'm gonna put that on my Steam Deck, too. You know, I'm just gonna put a ton of fucking pinball games on my Steam Deck. You know, I have this on my Steam Deck. Uh, the problem is that the, the version of this I have on my Steam Deck is the Wii Virtual Console version. Uh, and, you know, the, the Wii Console Virtual Console version... Uh, of all NES games is, like, a, well, the palette looks so muddy. Uh, I'm really glad that they, like, tightened up their, the, the official emulation. But, you know, it, it does it a pinch, for sure. There are worse ways to play pinball than the, the, the dolphin, than on dolphin. This, my first ball was really good, but this got really, uh... Really out of hand. No, let me put on another pinball song. Let's see. Pinball music extended. Apparently, this is the Waluigi pinball theme from Mario Sports Mix. chat for myself by accident. Pinball, pinball, pinboy, pinboy. No! I have never played Mario Sports Mix in my life, um, but I will tell you that one of my favorite videos of all time on, online is the promotional video they did for uh, Mario Sports Mix, where it's Mario giving a press conference for like 15 minutes. And it's like all fully voice acted by Charles Martinet, and he's like being interviewed by uh, Miguel the me. I I feel like uh, the Mario Sports Mix interview is one of those rare things where it's like you 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 can only make it worse by YouTube pooping it because it's already very funny and insane. It does not need to be YouTube pooped. He's talking about how the how the the game has four oh, sports. God, I should make Miguel 
in uh, as a me, so I can play as him in Smash Bros. Hey, you know how they did Peggle too, when the guy got really excited about it on stage. Um. Do you think I could, like, come out on, on at an E3 someday, uh, if there's ever, like, another E3, or maybe they'll invent E4 now? Do you think that they could ever, like, maybe, you know, I can get, like, my own dev studio going, and I can make Pinball 2, and they can get me out on, like, the Nintendo stage, or in, like, a Nintendo Direct, and I could be, like, PINBALL 2! That would be pretty cool. I don't really want to make a pinball game, but I would if I got to do Peggle 2, but for this game. Can you imagine how hype it would be if they did a sequel to this? Like, come on. The fandom is waiting. God damn it. Pinball 2 is, uh, hang on. I should just have these words memorized, but. <clears throat> Pinball is FPS, hobby grade, co-op campaign, genre blended, multi-mode competitive esports, meta growth, choice plus epic pinball heroes. I should really just have that fully memorized because it's the doctrine I lived my entire life by, but... At le hey, at least I didn't, like, say that one, uh, the one Kevin Smith tweet. At least I didn't put pinball in that one. Exit! Exit! No, I... The exit closes so fast, I hate it. Groot is a cool Pokemon, thank you. Play pinball with each other. Oh, this is the demo. I thought it was I was playing it for a second. So I think with a score of 79k, I'm like, uh, 11th best pinball player in the world? So I've at least got that going for me. I really want to get to the point where I can see the, 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 the bumpers go, uh, go invisible. I want to, I want to go, go fucking sicko mode. I want to, I want to get that terror instinct going. No! Ah! Okay, 20k, that's a, that's a pretty good first ball. I'm actually satisfied with this.
is really hard to get in that exit. I don't even know what it would do for me, honestly. Take a quick drink break. We'll watch this great attract mode. I gotta have uh, some goldfish crackers in a bowl next to me. Should probably eat these. I was just faking you all out with that one. That first one? That was just a little, uh, that was just a little T-bone tickler for you. I wasn't really gonna launch the ball. I just wanted to, you know, get you think keeping you all on your toes when you're watching me playing pinball. I also wish that, that this game had music. I bet, I bet you know, if they got Koji Kondo on this shit, it would have been, like, super banger. <clears throat> but instead, we get to appreciate uh, Waluigi Pinball as heard in Mario Sports Mix. That game has four sportses. a good feeling about this. No. No, never mind. I need to stop talking. I need to become the most boring streamer of all time and just not talk. So that way I can get the, the high score, the, the victory royale. 
They're doing a new Fortnite thing at the end, at the like end of this week. Uh, I, I have not played this season at all whatsoever. Uh, but it's a thing that's happening. Uh, that's current events. You hear they're gonna fix Team Fortress 2? They're gonna remove all the bots? Or at least that's what they, they... They made a tweet saying that, Oh, we know the problem's big now. Uh, I don't believe for a second that Valve is actually going to do shit, but that's current events. I really hope, you know, one of these days Nintendo will step up their game and, you know, issue a patch for this, you know? It's, so, it's such a shame that I can only play the single player. Like, if I, if I were to go into the two-player mode, you know, I would just hit a bot who's, you know, got the, the modified time blast... Uh, you know, the, the multi-ball. Nintendo should put um, Payload into uh, Splatoon. Actually, wait, they, they do that. It's tower control. Nintendo should put... Uh, um. Uh. What's the what's the, the soccer ball mode called again? Uh, pastime. Put pass. Wait. No, they did put pastime in Splatoon. It's the it's the it's the clam mode. Uh. <laughs> they should put trading servers in Splatoon. They should put idling servers in Splatoon. They should put idling, idling servers in Smash Bros. That'll give them the edge over multiverses. Pretty, I was about to say that this is going pretty good, but then I realized I have zero ball. Where did my ball go? Mm. I would fucking play TC Hydro in Splatoon. They should put PL High Tower in Splatoon. Just like, like get, just like license that out. <laughs> Johnny points. Johnny points isn't a real guy. I'm too smart and mature. I'm really mature for my age, so you can't get one over over on me like that. learning about pinball, it's surprisingly hard to pay attention to chat when you're playing pinball.
Wait, I, I realize now what they should really do in Smash Bros. They should do a pinball stage in Smash Bros. That would be sick, actually. Like, I could see you, like, battling on that, like, moving bumper platform. That would be, that would rule. Okay, this is off to a pretty good start. Fuck. I, I, I totally jinxed myself. I'm going to, like, die instantly. Because I said I was off to a good start. Send me back to the top, please. Don't. Oh. Okay, I'm going to let that one rock, though. Boy, yes, holy fuck, yes. I don't even care. I don't even care. I got one. That's all I, all I need. I don't even know what that did for me. Did that get, how many, how many points did it get me that I saved Pauline? I, I, I don't remember where I was. I think it was a lot because like, I'm at 40, 40k, but I don't, I, I was not quite paying attention to how much I got off of that or where I was before that in terms of points. And I got an extra ball from 50, 50k. It's pretty good, pretty good. This might... Don't say anything. I want the exit! Bye, Pinboy. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. This is a good run. Rescue, rescue. Got it back up here. Oh, give me 
give me that high score. I want a new high score. I want a new high score. Okay. I want to get to 100k so bad. I want to see those uh, th those those bumpers go invisible. Flippers, flippers. Okay, okay, Pinboy. At the very least, Pinboy gets me back up to the top. Like even if even if Pinboy doesn't get me get me uh get me any bonuses. Like, like Pinboy, Pinboy's gonna get me. You know. Okay, do high score. Nice. So close to that 100k. Show me the fucked up invisible pinball, pinball flippers. Okay. And I still got another ball, too. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Is it okay to ask if how things are going with regards to the Sonic series? Uh, I will address that uh, when I am not focused on my score, but it is okay to ask that. Uh, I'll, I can give you an answer on that in... Oh god, I want to see 100k, please. Okay, 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 we saw it. We saw it. Okay, Sonic series. Uh, we want to get back to it. Um, it's basically just been a matter of uh, working out our schedules again for it. Um, we've talked about it a, billi a billion times, and uh, we've come pretty close uh, a few times, but then it just sort of falls through. Uh, we, we really want to. Um, and I, I hope it's soon. I honestly, I just need to ask Lily, uh, more about it, but it, it I, it's hard, it's hard for me because my schedule is like constantly open. Um, the Lily, Lily got, Lily got some shit going on. It, uh, well, when I say it like that, it's not very serious. It, Lily has a job is what I mean to say. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we want to get back to it. I, I wish I had more news about that. Uh, I wish I had more to say about that, but... Uh, all I can say is that we want to, and it's just been sort of a... Uh, uh, difficult to work up the effort, you know. Uh, it's how it goes on this bitch of an earth. Anyway, pinball. We saw that we saw the, the the flippers go invisible. I'm pretty satisfied with that. But spiritually, I am a rightmost penguin. I love that guy's bugging out eyes. Look at it. look at that fella.
damn it! The way you would do invisible flippers in real life would be that you don't because you shouldn't be sadistic and cruel. In fact, I, th I think I think Miyamoto was was a little uh, stepping outside of his his uh, his his uh, expertise on this one. to the player does not respect the player's time. Just realized my capture card is on a on a delay. Uh, I need to get a new capture card. It's one of those things where um you know, I don't stream a lot a lot because uh I my capture card's a little janky. And I never get a new new capture card because I don't stream a lot, and it's sort of one of those catch twenty two self fulfilling prophecy things. Bit of a shame, but but uh, it anyway. I I mean, what I mean to say by that is, if I react to something before it happens, uh, it is because. Uh, it is because the cap my capture card uh, has a pretty bad delay going on on it. It's because I have I have modified time blast. That's my power. Okay, just just so you get a bit of a measure of it. Uh, I'm hitting A to make the make the pinball go down now. Uh, the pinball, yeah, there we go. The the the, the plunger. It's 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 like a second, which is like just barely uh, barely enough to be annoying. But um, I I I I. I Usually remember to put a delay on myself to match my capture card, uh, but I had to reset some things up for uh, my, my 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 setup has gotten a little bit different uh, where I'm living right now. Um, and I forgot to do that, and it's also really annoying to be on a delay myself. I'm gonna try that again. And go. Okay. Yeah, the other uh, that 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 reminds me of the other problem. Uh, my my webcam that you see of me, my little my little green fox form and my funny glasses. Uh, you know it, it's. Hard, it's hard to get that on to remember to get that on a delay in addition to my voice. Uh, it, that, that's a, that's a really big pain in the ass, actually. But you know, it don't it don't matter. It's just pinball. Maybe if I keep waggling these bumpers, it'll affect the RNG, and uh, the, it'll keep the staying in that 100 spot. Damn, this is my first ball, and I'm I'm up to 24k. Jeez, you love to see it. All 
I knew I was going to die the moment I, I praised myself for my score. I need to be no thoughts head empty when I play pinball. Best first ball of my life, and now I'm beefing it. I bet the squid of rocket power ever had to deal with anything like this game. He certainly never had to deal with the Fiji flu. God damn it. be fun if a video t video's title on YouTube was part of the URL. I said it like URL. URL is like the name of a guy from Planet Krypton who uh, they introduce as like uh, it was Superman's dad's accountant. Your RL. I'm just starting that one over. I I need to put the music back on, but. Next next time I, I I pull a squid and beef it. Like now. Let's see, uh pinball music. I could play a 10 hours extended Mario Pinball Land song. No, I don't think I will. This is from Pokemon Pinball, apparently. Blue Field. does have like a real uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver sound to it, now that you mention it. I was thinking that, but I never really made the, the connection there. That, it, that there would be some overlap. Wait, what? What? That's the power of three, baby! There was like a little bumper that would have kept me from falling into the bottom too, but like, uh... 
it went away pretty quick. Maybe it's only there for three seconds if I get all the threes. But maybe if I get seven, it turns red for seven seconds? I don't know. That's, that's just me spitting game theories. So far, so good on this life. it after the famous hero can. Everybody knows that war. Show me my friend Pinboy! Or his, uh, his doppelganger at least. The seals are my best friend in this world. Sometimes pinball just doesn't go your way and it's completely out of your hands. In that way, pinball is much like your like life. I was about to say like your life, like you, the viewer, have no control. I'm calling you out. take that as, uh, I think that's a good first ball. That was not a good second ball. Barcade, uh, way, 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 way back in 2019 when I, uh, visited, uh, a certain co-host of mine. And, uh, uh, we didn't actually play anything there, but I, but it was like a combination barcade. It was a barcade that was also like a, like a, used game store, which was kind of insane, and I bought the Inkling Amiibo for Smash Bros. there to complete my Smash Amiibo collection at the time. Ah. I didn't really- we didn't play any of the games, but I saw the Mario pinball table. 
And I think that was how I learned there was a Mario pinball table, even. <laughs> Like Smash Bros. would have just come out like a month ago when I when when uh I went to that game store. So that that Inkling Amiibo was fresh. Smash Ultimate, what a game, huh? I just saw in the chat the Austin Powers pinball machine with fat bastard bonuses. Why am I not playing that? As good as this game is, there's no fat bastard bonuses. Maybe I have to make my next ROM hack be a NES pinball ROM hack and hack in uh, the Fat Bastard bonuses. <laughs> I'm not living with that. That's not a good one. I've seen that, like, Simpsons bowling game. I have never played it, but I have seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there should absolutely be, like, a shitty little, like, uh, toy forklift that's on, like, the Austin Powers uh, pinball table that your ball can get stuck in. Uh, there should be a part where, like, the pinball covers up, like, a boob, like, conveniently censoring it. Come on. Down that hole. I want the points, I want to play the pinball and make the pin boy proud. Hello, hello, hello! Thank you for joining me for pinball. Uh, it is from Pokemon Pinball. It is called Blue Field. As I mentioned earlier, I have just never played either of the Pokemon Pinball games, so this is my first time actually hearing the song myself, if I'm being honest. Uh, Pinball for the NES has no music. There is none music, except for the little title screen jingle. That A. Give me the A. Oh, well, that's better than an A. Well, it was. Come on. No, 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 no. Maybe if I, like, waggle this a bunch, it'll lean left so I can get the, the full house. Exit. Exit is, like, my doom. Every time I see the exit, it's just bad. I die. The exit is cursed. Still a pretty good first ball. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I wanted to see Pinboy. I wanted to see legendary character Mario. I wish I was doing a Casanopolis stream. Well, no, I don't because I love this game. It's not that I'm not disparaging this game when I say that I wish I was doing a Casanopolis stream. It's just that I also love Casanopolis. get like a, a better feel for the physics here honestly like up here you want to try and like hold the ball to try and uh avoid the avoid the damn it uh, avoid the the, the the platform like ricocheting you around too much the gutter the gutter is the hardest part the gutters are the hardest part in general uh, of, of this pinball game the gutters are real nasty I mean, I'm, I'm certainly no pinball expert, as I, I have stated, but, like, uh... It feels like the, the, the gutters are just very cool. That, that, like, pinball uh, tournament that I had mentioned watching a stream of uh, earlier this, earlier in this stream, uh, we, I remember we looked it up a afterwards because we were very enthralled by it, and, like, something we were kind of bemused by was that there was, like, a, a women's league. <laughs> like, a separate women's league of pinball. It's, um... It's, uh, you know, it, it, you got, if you got those dainty girl hands, you know, you're gonna, you're just gonna have a, a different kind of ball control. It's not... F Realistically, I think it's less anything like that and more, like, uh, they just needed to give the wives something to do when their, like, 60-year-old husband is at the pinball tournament. Which is fine. <laughs> it's just, it is, a uh, it is... Pinball, competitive pinball is a very interesting hobby, but you can tell that it's very, uh, antiquated. And I wouldn't even say it's, like, um, you know, only for old people, because there were a lot of, you know, people my age or pretty young, pretty young folks who were, like, uh, competing in that. But it seems like a lot of the rules and standards are just sort of set in stone from, like, the 70s. <laughs> 
See, if if women's pinball had you playing pinball tables that had like sexy hugs, that would be that would be great. The the two, the two divisions are uh straight men and lesbians and gay men and, and uh straight women. So that way it determines which of them you get to see. Bi people or pan people can enter either bracket. That's that's the new pinball meta. I have also only seen the boggle YouTube poop of Peggy Hill, not the actual episode. Again. Jeez. Gravity did not favor me. Isaac Newton was looking down from his uh, gravitational otherworld throne. He did not want my ball to fall onto the flipper. When King Yemma let, uh, admitted, um, Isaac Newton to the other world, uh, he allowed him to have dominion over all gravity in our world, I think, is the Dragon Ball lore. Like, if you, like, freed Sisyphus from his, like, from his cool task and, like, gave him a pinball board, would he be, like, relieved or insulted? Because, he, you know, theoretically, he would be pretty good at pinball, but, like, would that be, like, you know, like, like spiteful? Would that be, like, making light of his misery, his trauma? Does Sisyphus have PTSD? <laughs> Sisyphus rolling the boulder is a form of maladaptive coping for him. even do again? Why, why Why? did they make him roll the boulder again? I I forget that part of Greek mythology. Was Sisyphus the guy who made fire, stole fire from the gods, or is that somebody else? Prometheus did that, no. What, what was Sisyphus's thing? Oh, fuck. Pinboy. Pinboy, goodbye. Man, it would be really fucked up if they introduced uh, multi ball into Sisyphus's life. Like, like, like if he did too good at rolling the the boulder one day, like, uh, like Zeus just dropped like a second boulder on him, and he had to like try and push both up. It's like a fun challenge, but he gets more points. I bet if they gave Sisyphus, like, a score counter, it wouldn't be punishment anymore, it'd just be fun.
exit. Goodbye. It's fun to imagine that, like, if if Sisyphus actually gets the boulder up to the top of the mountain, it's like uh, he gets led into the secret Bennett Foddy chat room for people who got the boulder up to the top. Sisyphus Battle Pass! Sisyphus gets a new boulder that has like pictures of Darth Vader on it if he if he gets to level 100. Sisyphus gets like famous rocks uh, as promotional as promotional material, like crossover rocks. Like um, he gets the rock that Killer Croc throws. Uh, he gets the um, the rock that Narwa, the All Mother, makes come out of the ground. Uh, he gets Krillin's Rock from, uh, from Dragon Ball. <laughs> he's gotta get, he's gotta get his battle pass up to 140 so he can get the Golden Rock before the season ends. It's a, it's a real grind, but he's gotta do it because it's, it's not gonna be around forever. I mean, yeah, the Pioneer Rock from SpongeBob would definitely be on one of the Sisyphus Battle Pass. <laughs> oh, the famous rock that Squish Gren Tilda would definitely be one of them, too. Yes, yes. itch on my ear that I'm going to scratch before I continue playing more pinball. I wonder if I'll ever get above 100k. I wonder if I'll ever get back there. I feel like I've, I, I've hit a plateau where I've gotten worse at this game now. Although, me, you know, maybe, maybe my thing is that I'm not committing. Maybe I gotta stop resetting and just let every every run play out no matter what.
birds hatched. Once more. Oh no, the music. Sorry, we're going back to pinball silence for a bit. Honk every time I'm disappointed by pinball. I cannot remember the last time I played an actual pinball table. Uh, I had like a crappy toy one as a kid. Like, like it, it fit on your lap, and it was technically a f functioning pinball table, but... Uh, played a lot of that as a kid. Um, I don't think I've, I've played any, like notable pinball tables. You know, I, I played a lot of, of, of Space Cadet pinball, but that's not a, uh, a uh, I mean, that's that's not a physical pinball table. I gotta play the, the, the Family Guy pinball. Alright, I lose. Because I invoked Family Guy pinball. Uh... Pinball music. All right, here we go. All right, I'm playing. I'm in control.
I had no faith in that. I should have put the one credit clear uh, tag on this. Alternatively, there should be like a uh, 761 clear, credit clear tag on Twitter, on Twitch, Twitch. Uh, this arrangement is from uh, Sonic Generations. It's for the Casino Night DLC that they did with the pinball table all of its own. Uh, there was also a uh, Casino Night level in the, uh, the 3DS version, which I have never played in my life. I love this, like, uh, freeform jazz. The, like, jazz bridge, the solo. dark suddenly uh, because of the passage of time so um, I, I suddenly at some point I just became like some sort of pinball vampire living in my cave because I didn't have lights on because it was perfectly bright out oh pinboy time it's just stout Mario honestly Oh, ho, ho. Try something. Uh, well, not this time. I'm gonna try play game A again. Spice things up. Spice things up. Maybe I'll like how the how the uh, how this feels better now. Feels slower. Maybe I need slower if I want that high score. It's so sluggish. I love the little seals. I love all the creatures and animals of pinball for the NES.
exit. Boy. No, Pit Boy. Pit Boy, you do nothing but love you. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I keep calling that false Mario Pin Boy. He is a Pin Boy, but he's not the Pin Boy. Come on, stay stuck. This is so much slower. This is like... Super Smash Bros. Brawl Physics Ball. Okay, it's okay though. Uh, 4,000 more points, they get another ball. funny that I haven't seen the royal flush. Okay, I got another ball. Ball crush. You don't get that in real pinball. You can't fucking smother the pinball in real life. That's why this is one of the greatest games ever made. Right after praising the game. I'm gonna 
I keep going with game A. Why not? This floaty brawl ball. I honestly was imagining, like, Gmod clipping sounds when I saw it getting stuck there. It was extremely, like, a, a Gmod pinball interaction. God, that penguin rules. All the penguins rule. What do the birds do? Uh, so those birds, if you hatch all of them at once, they put bumpers on the uh, gutters. So that way you, you can like bounce out once. The penguins are just sort of a slot machine function that give you some sort of uh, alternate palette if you can match all of them. Whether it's 3-7 or penguin. I haven't quite figured that mechanic out yet. The, the penguin, the penguin slot, the penguin roulette. One time it changed to like red pinball though, and it was really cool. This pinball still has secrets yet to tell. start doing pause buffer strats. Oh, shit. I'm not using all the tools available to me. Well, that didn't work. Never mind. Fastball. Oh yeah, this is the that these are those smash ultimate physics that I want. Give me that balloon knockback. Never mind. I think it's just Penguin 37 by default.
those 20 points will add up. Now it's back to back to a nice even round number. Or, my big mouth. I need to not talk. I should just mute my mic. All I do is curse myself. I'm 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 doing commentators curse to myself when I'm the player and the commentator. flippers again. God. I want to not see the flippers. Is that so much to ask? Alright, Ford B again. Give me that give me the, the, that heavy, heavy gravity. What am I doing wrong that I was doing right before? So bad at Pit Boy. I can't even blame Pin Boy on that one. That was all Evan. Mario was not the not the, the culprit of that failure. Okay. Bumpers. It's good. Exit. the exit. Yes! Get me back up top! Seven! I was not up top for very long. How is my score so low? I feel like I've been... I feel like this has been a pretty long ball so far. Of course I'm still pinballing. This is endurance training. Sometimes when I wish I had the the, the, board, the game A physics, and sometimes when I wish I had the game B physics, I wish you could, like, change pinball physics on the fly. 
That's like kind of half an idea for a video game. I die. No problem. Now it's 3-7 Penguin instead of Penguin 3-7. Definitely uh, keeping you on your toes. so itchy. I get itchy when I'm, like, focused. It's trying to... My body doesn't want me to be gamer. Oh! God damn it. Oh, oh, oh. such a hard life and nobody understands. Mom and Dad and Vicky always give me pinball, pinball boy commands. Commands for pinball. <laughs> for April Fools next year, I should switch commands for gamers to uh, commands for Timmy. And it's just things that mom and dad and Vicky say to Timmy. The only the only post is bed twerk. It's a joke for nobody. I think I'm the only person in in the world to manage to hyperfixate on the fact that they say. Uh, that mom and dad and Vicky are always giving him commands. I don't think anybody else thinks about how funny that lyric is. for sharing. happens. This is good. Damn it. Ball control is terrible! Okay. 
Okay. Boy. Wondering when this song was going to end. Back to pinball silence. Maybe this is what I needed. Penguin 73! New penguin just dropped! Fuck. My... About to say my ball dropped, but that's... Turn of phrase. It's, uh... Oops. Uh, you need to turn the penguins into three penguins, three threes, or three sevens. And the only one I know that does any... The only one that I know the outcome of is if you get three threes, because it makes the, the board red. And there's, like, a little orb in the middle for, like, a few seconds. Okay, Pinboy. Kick it, Mario! Mario, you legendary character. You have doomed me. I'm going to keep playing in silence for a bit. I'm going to see if this helps me. As far as I can tell, you can. there is no table tilting. I just sort of mash the flipper sometimes because I, I I make it I've tricked myself into thinking that it'll affect the RNG of the ball. <laughs> no frig. I'm telling you, Smash Bros. stage where you're fighting on the little moving platform, uh, the penguins come in and do shit. Uh, there's like a there's like a stage transition to the bottom part with the chicks and the eggs and the the the, 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 the full house. Oh. Real 
quick, actually. Can we talk about how funny it is that they thought they needed a select button that you press a bunch of times to change which option you're hovering over on this menu only? And not, like, it took them, a, a, like, uh, like, another console cycle to think, like, maybe we should just have this done with the D-pad? Why did they need an entire button called the select button for this, what I'm doing right now? I've never, I've never really thought about that too hard, if I'm being honest. The select button isn't even for selecting. You bring up menus with it, usually. I'm gonna be a fucked up bastard and make a game where select is jump. penguins or something, but I instantly left, and now I'm gonna die! I got 777 and... Hang on, you know what? Oh, well, I... Now, now, now the... Now the 7-7 seven, seven dimension has just been totally erased. I wanted to see the cool the cool red table of 777. Game A or Game B? Game B again. Uh, the difference is just the physics. Uh, game A is floatier, game B is, like, a little faster. Okay. Those seals are the most helpful characters, I swear to god. Nobody else do does me as much good as those seals. The seals are on my side. I, the penguins and the chicks are like uh, the, 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 the chicks are on my side too. Uh, the penguins are like a neutral party. Uh, I don't think Mario cares who lives or dies. <laughs> the 
physics of that. Recently, um, last week, um, I, I, I went back into Monster Hunter Rise with some friends. Uh, actually, thinking of that. Uh-oh. Right, because uh, I, I thought there would be like a... Second. Uh oh. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I, um, started playing this again with some friends last week, uh, to revisit it before the DLC comes out, and, uh, uh, we, 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 we did, uh, we did, um, we did All Mother, uh, bleh, All Mother Narwa. Narwa the All Mother, uh, and it, it took us like uh, a good nine hours of grinding at one one day. Uh, we, we we got really really like gamer brained on it in a way I don't think I've been since it, like in years like since my early twenties I don't think I've pulled a gamer session like that. Uh, it was it was uh, very fun honestly and. Um, one of those like make me feel young again situations and uh it was very fun to just like sit there and like hopelessly grind a really hard thing in a video game for nine hours and stay up way too long and too late um but we, we spent nine hours in one session didn't get it we we finally call it quits come back the next day get it on our first try uh, you know, it, that's the, that's the, like the Dark Souls effect, right? Like you gotta get that, uh, you gotta get that, you know, it, the reset, the, the, the calming, the calming effects of a break, like turning it over in your mind, thinking it over in the shower. Gotta sleep on it, gotta sleep on it. I'm kind of wondering if I've hit, I'm, I'm hitting that point with pinball, right? Like... Like, like maybe I've been been at it too long, and I gotta reset. I gotta gotta take this in, uh, you know. Get my uh, get my get my uh, heal my chakras. But unfortunately, this is endurance training. There are no breaks in in this world. There's only pinball. So far, so good on this on this run, though. Jeez, I would kind of just tunnel vision this. I gotta do that more often. I gotta go ultra instincts. Pinball.
Man, there was like every 3DS game would like nag you to stop playing it if you played it for like 15 minutes. Animal Crossing thought you were going to die if you were in it for like 10 minutes. All your animals start asking, like, are you okay? You've been at this for a while. You've been playing like a whole nine minutes. I guess they kind of had to do that because it was the 3DS. They didn't want anybody getting, like, eye strain. Uh, but it was, <laughs> it was honestly very condescending. Open window in Wii Sports. Could you re recite this story for me again, Tulip? Did they put, like, an open window in Wii Sports somewhere to try and, like, encourage you to go outside and take a break? Am I? Is that is it something like that? That sounds really familiar, the open window in Wii Sports. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I remember now. Why would I need to go outside when I can play Wii Sports, though? I can play the sports inside. The, yeah, I, I think I only learn about the, the like, 1.1 differences in Wii Sports from a Summoning Salt video? That was, like... Yeah, yes, okay, since you invoked it, too, while I was saying it, yeah, that has to be true. It's wild. I... The, the craziest part is, like, I definitely would have a 1.0 Wii Sports copy, so, like... Maybe I should like trade some speedrunner, you know, altruistically. I'll 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 take I'll take that 1.1 off your hands, you know, for the greater good. Damn it. I I want to be like I want to be these penguins but specifically I want to be one of the penguins but have like two other penguins with me who are also doing like uh, very pathetic two frame animations I want me and who is, is what I'm saying about these penguins I die! I don't even- why would they add the cutscene? Or what- it has to be like the cutscene wasn't working in the 1.0 version of Wii Sports. And they fixed it, right? It has to be something like that. Like, surely they didn't just decide, like, on a whim. You know, I this baseball game's pretty good. But I could really use, like, a nice cutscene here. I, I, I think I mentioned this recently under some context, uh, but I think about it a lot. Um, I think the most barren stained the world has ever been is... Um, the Wii Shop channel didn't update on Wednesdays. That was something they made up for the song. 
the Wii Shop channel updated on Mondays. And I, I think that was part of the original joke, like, the reason they overemphasized, like, everybody knows about the Wii Shopping channel and everybody loves to shop on it every Wednesday. Like, I, I think the reason they do that bit and, like, over-talk the fact that it updates on Wednesdays was because it doesn't actually update on Wednesdays. I, like, I think that was part of the joke, and it's just lost the time, and now people just generally think, like, oh, yeah, the Wii Shop channel, it updated on Wednesday. Because it, it was in the song, and the song was from 2007, or whatever. I definitely, I definitely was there. I definitely did check the Wii Shop channel. Uh, religiously. I, you know, and again, you know, I could be misremembering, like, I, I know that they updated on Mon the Wii Shop channel on Mondays, but I, they might have changed the date they updated it at some point. Like, it might have changed the update on Wednesdays later, but it, it definitely started as Mondays. And I actually went back and, like, double-checked this, with, like, the early Wii Shop Channel releases, uh, and it was Mondays. Um, the, uh, I remember that they had released, uh, Mario 1 on Christmas Day, uh, on the Wii Shop Channel. Um, and Christmas Day 2006 was a Monday. Back to game B. I was already on game B in that last run, but... Okay! Okay, this changes things. So, it, okay, so I was right, but they did change the date. It was, it was okay, I, all right, all right. I don't feel bad because it's not as if I was lying, but that changes things as if it was... Okay, yeah, what... They were talking, like, in the video, they're saying, like, it, it was updating early... But that what that like if it was updating early, it would have been Tuesday in the video, right? Like Tuesday night. But it was definitely okay. Okay, it was never Wednesday. All right, all right, it was never Wednesday. This is this is. They had to have just gone with Wednesday for the video because it alliterates with We Shop. We Shop Wednesday just sounds funny for the video. It has to just be that. Either way, it was not Wednesday. It was not Wednesday. <laughs> I should have really looked that up uh, more more deliberately. Like, I should have, like, looked up more than one date for when the Wii Shop channel updated. When did Pinball come up on, come out on the Wii Shop channel? Can somebody look that up for me? I, I have to do my endurance training, so I can't look it up myself. Thank you, Tulip. D 
damn pinball was a launch title. Hell yeah. They didn't, they back in back in the day they didn't keep you waiting for pinball like they did now. I I can't complain. At least we finally got pinball. No, oh, get in there. Get in the exit. Damn it. No. Exit! Yeah, no! Exit! No! I'm so disappointed with this that I just have to start over. I, that, I took too, too much psychological damage from that pinball exchange. I think that they really failed themselves by not including pinball in the Wii Shop Wednesdays song. I, I think that would have, you know, really put it over the edge. Super Mario RPG, Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Kong 3, Adventures of Lolo 1 and 2, King's Knight Pinball, Chum and Fu. Like, there, see? That's so much better than saying Dig Dug. Yeah, they do shout out Donkey Kong Jr. math and the part where they where they uh, do the they invoke a Toe Jam and Earl and Panic on Funko Tron is like uh, art. That was just stupid. What just happened there? <laughs> no, it just goes right into the gutter. And I'm okay. Okay, now we get instantly get another chance. Okay, that was an insane pinball uh, situation. Damn it. Oh, wait, hey, I have a really good score for my first ball. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have vocalized that thought. This ball is dead. I, uh, I also played Gunstar Heroes for the first time on the Wii. Uh, pretty good game. I've been meaning to try and get a friend to... Uh, co-op it with me on um, the Genesis Switch app. Alright, I'm, I'm satisfied with a 39.580 as my first poll. I really want to see the, the invisible flippers. God, I want to see a full house too, but I feel like the full house is just not going to happen. I'm sorry. Like, like I cannot... I cannot guarantee a full house. The full house feels like is so stacked against you! You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of discourse out there in the world about, you know, what happened to Donkey Kong Jr. Why did he leave the family? Uh, you know, why 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 did he abandon his son, Donkey Kong the Third? who is the playable character we now know in love with his famous Ty. And, uh, you know, now we deal with Cranky Kong, who is the grandpa. He left his grandfather to, to raise his son. Or left, left his father, let his father raise his son. Um, what I really want to know, what I really want to know, what happened to Pink Donkey Kong Jr.? 
Where did he go? It's got to be rough for, for Donkey Kong the third from the country game. Because, I mean, you know, he's got like... Not only did his, his dad leave him, um, it, the pink version of his dad also left him. So he, he, he had two dads abandon him. It's fucked up, honestly. No wonder he, like, you know, goes on that rampage stealing the toys from the Mario Toy Factory. Like, uh, he, had, he had his childhood robbed from him. Uh, his sense of innocence, like, you know. Just destroyed. Uh. Giddy Kong and Chunky Kong at least have spirits, right? Like, like you can get like a you get like when Galim rendered the world asunder. Like, at least he was he was able to capture, uh, you know, claim the souls of Kitty Kong and Chunky Kong. Pink Donkey Kong Jr., nowhere to be found. I forget if Donkey Kong Jr. regular was anywhere to be found. But Pink Donkey Kong Jr., definitely not. I'm trying to think of a good... Good song to play for this. It's a good, like, pinball song. I can't play the, the, the Sesame Street pinball song. That would get me arrested. Probably. By HBO Max. just put on Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire OST original soundtrack. Okay, okay. This is just a nice little remix. I can't, I can't let myself even think about it. I can't let myself dream. If I get a full house, it should give me, like, a billion points. See? Exactly.
I'm starting this over again. Slow, slow brawl ball. Oh man, Bob Bob. I want that brawl ball. That brawl ball. That's a nice brawl ball. Seven. I'm gonna see Penguin 37 in my dreams tonight. really funny that they made a game that's both Fuck. they made a game that's both pinball and breakout and then they were like you know we should keep making more games i think that this 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 whole medium has more places it could go fucking the audacity of trying to make bioshock infinite when they already did pinball for the nes which also has a breakout mini game What is wrong with you? Three! Seven. is just like a wholesale in in Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire unchanged. Oh, that's right! I, I have not played Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire, but I watched my friend Washi play it uh, kind of recently. So that's why I knew that this song was in it.
Again, as soon as I'm done streaming, whenever that is, um, I will be putting the, the Pokemon Pinball games on my Steam Deck. Uh, I did see uh, Sonic Pinball Party quite recently. Um, because I had to stream it. Uh, we, we streamed it for our stream series. Uh, it was really cool that there's a, a Game Boy Advance ver rendition of the Burning Rangers song. I don't remember having a very positive opinion about it, but I I, um, I honestly forget most of, of it. Like, uh, there's an Evil Tales in it. Tails gets fucking mind controlled for the sake of pinball. It's really cool that there's evil tails. God damn it. Mario. Oh my god. Holy shit! That was sick! Damn it. theme song, like a remix of the Pokemon theme song. It's, why is it so somber? This is like, uh, you know, tragedy has befallen the Pokemon. Tragedy has befallen the Pokemon, but like, a glimmer of hope remains and you must go out and like, uh, raise money to save the Pokemon. That's the vibe I get from this song. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it as a Pokemon Atelier, but it kind of is that. Yeah, that that is kind of what I described. <laughs> also, yeah, this is a new top score for Board A. Uh, if I can get to one to over 100k, that'll be a new top score. Period. I still have another ball too. What's this song? What happened? Cringe compilation songs. She's gonna fall any second now, and I'm just gonna. I'm trying to be ready for it. Okay. Whew. I've been going pretty good, though, this bonus game. Ah, uh, oh well. I got some good points in there. Out seals. I 
10k more points for the invisible flippers. And I still have an extra ball. Okay, okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. <sighs> Take a big sip of my water. And plunge. Obscure the bumpers. Challenge me. Yes. Oh, fuck. Terror instinct. Why did they think this was okay? A new high score. Let me see. Where does that put me on that leaderboard that I that I saw? The British leaderboard. Uh, 104k would still put me at 11th place out of what would be 13. I am going to make an account and like submit this score, by the way, no matter what. But I believe I can do better. music of I got a new score. My endurance training has only begun. Forgive me for eating crackers. Fuck, they got the Trick Master in here. I'm always thinking about how awesomely fun he is, or whatever it is he says. Trick Master is handsome. Trick Master is genius. If I want to go up another spot in the pinball ranks, I would need to get a 109k.
it's a good thing they did not do a Pokemon Pinball Sword and Shield. For I do not think that Game Freak could graphically represent Pinball in all of its glory as the company stands now. The trees in even that pinball game would have still looked horrendous. Damn, this music is... something. This is a little penis music, if I'm being honest. Anybody in the world has ever cared about how a tree looks in a video game more than people lost their asses over the tree in Sword and Shield. I, I don't really quite know where the term penis music really comes from or why it, it erupted as a evocative term for a certain kind of music, but the thing is, sometimes you hear a song and it does just sound like penis music. Like, there's no other way to describe it. time I heard uh, anybody call something penis music was in reference to, like, a Grubhub commercial? I think? Uh, I work- I technically, as much as I can work for anything right now, I work for Grubhub. I, I do Grubhub deliveries, that's like my income source. Uh, so I feel like I need to personally apologize for the Grubhub commercial that everybody hated that one time. I mean, I, it was before, it was before my time, I couldn't have affected anything, but, uh... Thank you for forgiving me! I died. I didn't die, but I lost the top part of the table. Exit! Exit! Thank you! song. Seven Penguin Seven. Thank you. 
Okay, but I hit 50k, so extra ball. I'm so tunnel visioned. Sometimes I don't recognize that I passed the 50k mark for the extra ball. It's fucked up that this doesn't have multi ball. I love to knock around a bajillion of the, the ball. I think everything needs multi ball. Like, in, in every game could benefit from having multi ball. Maybe a game that wouldn't be improved by multi ball. would be improved by having multi-ball if there's more balls for you to roll up with your ball. Like, multi-ball can take on many forms. I think the, the and, you know, maybe it could be like a second a multi-ball for like uh, you know, like, like it could be like a battle royale or something, or like a, a co-op game, a drop-in co-op game, where like every time you get multi-ball, there's like a new, a new player who's dropping in to help you. you like, like you, you, you can put in like a, a, a request, like a, like a monster hunter type request. I think that all video games should have to be played with either the Steel Battalion controller, the Dragon Quest Slime controller, or the Resident Evil Chainsaw controller. And frankly, the fact that I'm using a regular Switch Pro controller at all is a sign of cowardice on my part. I'm not being a real pinball gamer. Ah, but that's how it goes. Sometimes you gotta be a fit gamer, you know, for, for pragmatism. Okay, I'm really glad that I got another, like, good score. It was in, it was in board A, but... Uh, it, it, it has revitalized me a little bit to have gotten, you know, put another one back on the board. probably can't hear under the Pokemon pinball music. I don't think I got the points bonus for it, though. Or if I did, I wasn't really uh, cognizant of it. One of these days, I will get that full house. Have I? I have never played Pokemon Pinball, period. Neither the Ruby or Sapphire one or the Game Boy original one.
Three, three, penguin. <laughs> Sometimes it just decides on its own, it does not want to be played anymore. It hurts me. seconds after my ball dies yeah all right yes i will i will withhold all my reactions that's a reasonable request Once more, got an itchy, itchy body. Exit, it's gonna go in the gutter, the not gutter, but you know, the corner. And then, if it passes that, that, that vertical line, then the exits are allergic to that. Maybe what I need to do is uh, fake out. Like, I should act disappointed at stuff that isn't actually disappointing. So that way, you know, keep you on your toes. Maybe that's the compromise that I need to make. Yes! Awesome! Man, this sucks. Damn it. Oh, this, I hate this. You know, honestly, all things considered, I was not expecting that, you know, 
when I woke up today, like by the end of the day, I would be able to say I'm, I'm at least the 11th best uh, NES pinball player in the world, statistically, rankings wise, demonstrably. According to some British website that I don't know how active it is. Anyway, I will be the 11th best. <laughs> My GPP! Oh, <laughs> uh, you made me snort with that one. Hey, you know, forgive me for a second. I'm going to take a quick pinball detour. Got me thinking about high scores. Leaderboards. I'm not going to play Sonic Mania, but I just want to see... At one point, I had a very, very, very specific time attack record. God, it's so weird hearing music. Let me pause the the sounds track. So I just want to see how far, far I've fallen. I was at one point third place on the Switch with Mighty the Armadillo in Metallic Madness Act 1 globally. I, the Switch, you know, it's not as competitive as the PC leaderboards, I think, but my 113 up there, that, that was that was some hot shit at one point. I'm 13. That's still pretty good, I'd say. I'm okay with that. 13? That ain't bad. Alright. I think I have uploaded that uh, that run to speedrunleaderboards.com or speedrun.com. Uh, it, it's out there somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. Back to the real business. Let's see. Uh, three hours and 48 minutes of pinball so far. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. When did I play Kirby's Adventure on here? Did I actually beat Kirby's Adventure on here? I... I do not remember, like, getting all the way to Rainbow Resort in Kirby's Adventure on the, on the Switch app. That's crazy. Beating, uh, I do remember beating Lost Levels. Uh, don't recommend it. I can't believe I only have 49 minutes in Ice Climber. You know, I need to beat Punch-Out at some point, like the original one. I love, 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 love this game. I don't think I've ever beaten it by myself. I watched my dad play it. Um, I love the Wii one. It's another game I gotta go back to. Uh... But, you know, this is all about... I'm all about that release date order. It's the real way to or organize things here. Let me just remember where Pinball is. Pinball? Pinball? 
I'm going insane. Wasn't pinball like one of the ones in the corner here and now it's not. It's like it was along this right side. Uh, pinball. What did I do to pinball? Pinball, here we go. How did I sort it last time? Jeez. Oh. My endurance training must continue. I I really do love Kirby's Adventure. Um it's a game I know I've played a lot, but, like, I, and I, I like it every time, but I, for whatever reason, like, I have a very foggy memory of it. Like, like it doesn't, it doesn't stick with me in my brain. Like, is it me or was the ball really crazy on that, on that one? Like, okay, things I remember about Kirby's Kirby's Dream uh, Kirby's Adventure. There is the boss the boss butch stage where you're climbing the cool tower. Um, there is the that's in Rainbow Resort. Uh, the the one where it's a throwback to the Game Boy game, which was only like a year ago at that point. Um. The Mole Digger boss, a uh, paint roller. Yeah, I, I guess it's the first Meta Knight game. I, I guess he shows up a bunch to like throw you stuff and like test you with his guys, but. That was the worst pinball ever. It's so funny because it even plays the, the 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 music from Dreamland One. It's so it's very it's very funny because it's it feels like a like it's like a, it's a nostalgia throwback for a year ago. I think more games need to make a pow make power moves like that. Like Uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land should have had a, like, Star Allies throwback level. Hello and goodbye to the top board. God, I cannot. It's endurance training. I have to play pinball. Flush. No! <laughs> oh, um, sorry. No! Is was that delayed enough? Rat. 
that. I, I don't think that... I, I sincerely do not think the Royal Flush is going to happen. It is so difficult to get the Royal Flush. I, I, I don't believe... I would... I, I believe there is a better chance of getting triple penguins than there is of me successfully maneuvering into the Royal Flush. With my whole heart, I believe this. Three penguin seven. I don't believe that the royal flush will happen on any day, if I'm being quite honest. Getting, a, getting some points, I can get to another ball. And that would be very nice for me. And my chances here. Why did this soundtrack for a pinball game go so hard? I feel like this goes harder than the regular Ruby and Sapphire soundtrack. If the Over the Hedge soundtrack for the Game Boy Advance sounds like this, I want to play Over the Hedge for the Game Boy Advance. God, I only barely got this extra ball. And ball goes. I'm not, I'm not living with this one. This one. It's really funny. One of the things I've, I've um, been uh, contending with uh, in making a ROM hack uh, the there is there is a a, a lot of uh, custom music for Pokemon ROM hacks out there that are, that people just be like I made this MIDI you can put it in your ROM hack if you want um so if you really want at least three JoJo's openings are in Pokemon sound font and you can just put them in your ROM hack. I mean, who wouldn't want that? It's it, it's really funny to to be like that cool anime soundtrack that I like, that cool anime song. I really need it to be in my Pokemon ROM hack. I really need to hear it in the in the Ho and Trumpets sound font. I swear this ball has a mind of its own. I am not putting GBA MIDI JoJo OP in my ROM hack. I, I, I'm sorry. It's, it's just not, it's... 
It's... It, it, I, I, I cannot... I, I mean... It won't happen. It won't happen. Okay, I just need the ace. <gasps> on, wiggle. I need this so bad. Come on. Come on. I can I can post a link in the chest Discord at some point later to uh, whackahack.com or .org or whatever it is under MIDI repository. This is a real. This is a really pathetic version of this song. This is like the Sonic Unleashed failed trumpets of the Groudon and Kyogre theme. I need to see the- I need to see the full house. I'm so close. Okay. This is killing me. want one thing and it's disgusting. No! <laughs> and that was- I have too good of a score to just, like, save scum. I have too good of a score to save scum. Uh, uh, sorry. I- 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 I, I reacted- too soon. This has got to be. I I, I want to upload this VOD, but this has got to be. This is gonna be a really bad one to watch a replay of. I think. I again. I'm sorry. I did not like try and set up anything for the delay. Um. It doesn't like actually matter that much, but like it is. Uh, I don't know. It, it is a problem that I knew about and uh, did not accommodate for. So it, it does feel a little bit like uh, like it's on me for that. Not that I have like a great solution for it anyway, but. Can I go? Hey, I just like looking at the penguins in this. <laughs> Hang on, am I at the part of the, the official soundtrack where it's just playing the sound effects? Oh my god, this is 51 minutes into the 58 minute video. Is Are there going to be seven minutes of sound effects? I'm just skipping around now. Yeah, it's... If I had let this go un unabated, it would have been... It would have been seven straight minutes of just sound effects from Pokemon Pinball, Ruby, and Sapphire. Anyway, I'm gonna look at these pe penguins some more. Look at him go. 
I need plastic surgery that turns me into this. They haven't created real gender affirmation until there's a pill you can take that makes you this. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I, I bet like a lot of those midis sound pretty good. I I I do not say I do not say that like uh, oh it's it's I bet that JoJo Mitty sucks. It's more like the inherent concept of being like I need I need to put the JoJo theme into the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire sound font. Uh, is very funny. JQK. I'm still balling. It's endurance training. That was kind of sick. And I lost it. Alright, alright. Another one. Another one, and then we're going to take a short, short break. You won't even know I'm gone. It's going to be that short. JQ. No! Come on! Come on! Come on! Corner bump. Darn you, Mario. I don't think the full house is ever going to happen, but I'm going to keep trying for it because you you need to put take the future and put it in the palm of your hands. You have to strive for anything that would you have to strive to be better all the time even if it would mean doing the impossible. Damn 
No. I want to do another one before taking a break. The only madness lies this way, but I'm... I cannot keep one mooring myself. This is my horrible brain trick that I always pu pull. Uh, I love the Metul hats. I guess I am succeeding at endurance training if I don't take a break. That is true. Okay, I got the A. That's like the hard one to get. I need to pause my nose. Itchy. Okay, J, Q. <laughs> I don't usually make noises when I play games, I, and it's not like a thing that I'm doing to like ham it up for the stream or whatever. I, I guess when I'm talking, I I start talking, I start vocalizing my frustrations when I die. I, I become a little more gamer when I stream, just naturally. this gives you any points if you get her back up there. I don't know what that does. I didn't see the point counter get any bigger. Am I wrong? Am I... Am I going insane? Am I not paying enough attention? I don't know what you get for saving Pauline. Did that do anything for me? It's 10k points? Okay, okay. Maybe I'm just not paying en paying enough attention to my to my 10 spot. Okay, maybe I can save Pauline again and get another 10k points. <laughs> I got another ball, but at what cost? Traded a ball to get a ball. Sunk ball fallacy. <laughs> Calling Mario a forced meme is just very funny words. I, I get what you're saying, but it's conceptually... Mario was like Wolverine, and he kept showing up in games that he wasn't actually a part of. I have to keep my endurance training up. One more.
It's happening. I'm doing... I'm stuck in the one more... one more trap. Okay, I'm gonna send you to the break screen real quick. I think now that was that was the real one more. Uh, my my endurance tra training has failed at uh, at a whopping uh, four hours and fifty five minutes. I must take a short break. Sometimes though, sometimes the way you truly endure is to know when to take a break. You endure longer if you know your limits. So this too is endurance training. I will be right back. And I'll, I'll leave you with some music real quick too. Hang on. Uh... Okay, be right back.
You didn't even know I was gone. It's like I said. I bet I bet you you didn't realize it was like I was playing peekaboo. Uh except re reverse. It was reverse peekaboo. Where you knew I was there and then I revealed I wasn't there. All right, 5 hours. I'm going to give this a little more. <clears throat> and I promise you, I will submit whatever my highest score is to the, the, the Britain boards. The British Board of Pinball. Could send my score to Nintendo Power. If I had a bigger audience, I would like genuinely do like a a, a twelve hour, twenty four hour something pinball marathon stream. Like, uh, five hours, I'm already pretty close. That's not how time works. Five hours isn't close, isn't close to either of those numbers. But I could, I could see myself just playing this for you know an entire day and just. I'm honestly feeling really like relaxed, really chilled out. Yeah, honestly, like at the at at the point where at the point I'm at, it's like you know what would another 19 hours of this even be? This isn't this isn't bad. It's not like it's a bad game. I'm having fun. This isn't claymates. Oh yeah, I should put on music again. Hang on just a sec. I need, I just saw something that I want to put in my uh save to watch later when I opened up YouTube. Uh, you know, I'll close this out with a little more of that, just that casino night. Casino, casino, casino. I have, like, a weird trauma about the pronunciation of the word casino. My, my instinct is always to say casino with, with a, like, like, a hard A, but, like, for whatever reason, when I was like a little kid, I think I, I called it Casino Night to like my mom. I was talking about Sonic, and she, she got really uh, uh, she got really she was very amused by this and like laughed at me and was like, "Oh, it's not Casino, it's Casino." And it, this like haunted me for some reason, but like my mom really dragged this point out. And I, mom, if, if you ever watch my streams, I, I'm first of all, I'm sorry for everything that you're hearing me say. Uh, second of all, I do not hold this against you, mom. But um, 
this this did stick with me, and now I I'm like, my natural inclination is to say casino, and it's not it's not that different. It's not that different. But like I'm I'm hung up on this forever because my mom gave me a hard time about it when I was at a formative age. My mom did chill out. My mom's pretty chill these days. Uh, when she wasn't chill, I think she had quite pretty good reasons to not be chill, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe my mom got really into NES pinball when I wasn't looking, and that's why, uh, why that's why, she, why, why our relationship has gotten a lot better in recent years. The, the calming effect of pinball. I honestly do feel like I could just play this forever and not get bored. I need to do some ROM hack work tonight or I'll scream because I, I have fun doing it. And it lets me trick myself into thinking I'm a productive member of society, but... Uh, I could just play this forever. I could. I did have delusions of grandeur of, like, it would be really funny if I, like, uh, streamed this for, like, eight hours. But, like, I I'm realizing that I'm up against a bunch of streams that I kind of want to watch. <laughs> and I can't do that if I'm streaming. Um, that's the curse. Of that's the curse of streaming, is that I want to watch other people's streams. Five hours is enough for the joke. And I'm still going. I, I, think, I, I think I've proven my point about endurance training. I mean, this is endurance training. I don't have to endure all the way on my first go, right? Like, like this is preparation. Eventually, I'll get to the eight-hour pinball stream. Half day doesn't have to be today. This is endurance training. You know what? Maybe maybe my goal should not be to get a high score, but like to be like the like have the longest session of NES pinball. Like like longest uninterrupted play playing of of this game. No thoughts, just pinball. The longest score. Unfortunately, the longest score would also just be the biggest score, I think? Honestly, I bet that pause buffering really is the trick to getting a really good score in this game, but... It went so catastrophically bad for me the, the one time I tried pause buffering that, like, I'm very afraid to try it again. <laughs> this is Count Longardo territory! God! Sing in the I'm just me song while standing on one foot. Did 
she's gonna fall any second now. No! I cursed myself! I have- I need to stop commentators cursing myself so much! Why do I do this? I need to- it's, the thing is, like, if I play this game off stream, I'm going to instantly get, like, a five- five more billion points score. Because I'm not going to be commentators cursing myself out loud. Orange Jesus cannot deny my prayers if I simply do not say them. Got him. Come on, it's ah. see that full house, right? It's rare, but I have seen the commentator's blessing in, 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 in my years of watching the Smash Brothers. Peter's blessing is when you play pray to R in Jesus, actually. Oh fuck! Seven! <gasps> oh no! The the little bumper that prevents you from falling in actually kind of just hurts more than anything. It was cool to see it like for more than like three seconds that time, but. I think the I think the little blocker with, does more harm than good. I could just bump me right into the gutter. God, those seals kick ass. Just look at them. I am really glad they finally put this on the NES app. It's... Why? What took them so long? I guess it, the only explanation I can think of is that it really is just that they needed to save some of the good stuff for later. They're out of anything that isn't Donkey Kong Jr. Math or Mysterious Murasame Castle or that Wii U version of Duck Hunt where you use the Wii Remote. Wait, 
So you, you pause. Wait, 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 wait. I can, I can, uh, I can fix this. Go down here. This is so clunky. Download this software first. Thank you. Maybe, oh wait, hang on. Uh, before, I, before I do anything crazy here, uh, let's, let's adjust some, some streamer parameters. this box art bigger. Wait, wait, wait. I know how I could. Uh, well, first off... Uh, how do you do that again? It's like... Yeah, there it is. All big. Look at those seals! Look at the way the seals are drawn! I do miss Pin Boy, but like, those seals are pretty good. Let's see all those regional differences. Maybe there's some subtle uh, physics differences that will help me get a higher score. <laughs> or send me right to the gutter. In the Japanese version, they should have replaced the seals with topies. Like, from Ice Climber. You know, like, just so it's e e even, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Tula. I bet in the Japanese version, it's like the ball is even heavier on game mode B. Because they, they weren't afraid of making it too hard for, for the Japanese gamers. The American gamers are cowards. They couldn't handle the, the pinball that they got over here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
imagining the idea of them like there was like the idea of there having been like a pinball two that was too hard, so they like took a different game and put the pinball and the seals in, in that as a sequel. You know what always fucks me up is like. Uh, Doki Doki Panic was actually supposed to be a Mario game from the beginning, and then they took Mario out of it in the Japanese release, like, midway through development. Uh, for, it was, uh, you know, all, all, all of the, the characters are related to some sort of, I want to say, like, a culture festival that, that happened at the time in Japan. Like, like it, it was some sort of, like, regional event, like, tie-in. Uh, all, all the characters. Um... I'm sure it's I'm sure it's very easy to go look that up but like uh, the, the point is like it was supposed to be a Mario game then it wasn't then they made it a Mario game again is the, the part that that really fucks with me about the the, the, the the Doki Doki Panic story I I, I want to say it was specifically that they thought that like uh, Japanese players wouldn't be uh, receptive to a Mario sequel that was so different, so they just, like, uh... They decided to just make Mario 2, which is just a, a fucked up level pack. Mario 2 is bad. Uh, the, the Japanese one. Mario Lost Levels, Mario Mario 2, uh, original Japanese one is it is a bad game. It is a bad game. It, it is uh, it, Lost Levels is like uh, little Timmy levels cranked up. It's it's little Shiggy levels. Heck, honestly, Mario 3 has some little Shiggy levels. Um. I played through Mario 3 with, with my friend D, who also really likes Mario Maker, um, recently. And, uh, it, it was, there, there was a lot of, like, like, it was kind of humbling because, like, a lot of the things that we gave, give kids, sh we, we, like, jokingly give kids shit for when we play Mario Maker. We're not, like, leaving nasty comments, but we, we, we make a lot of jokes about, like, little Timmy levels. Um, it, it, we, we saw a lot of, of design elements in Mario 3 specifically that were, were kind of like, oh, so this is where it comes from. We can't just blame this on little Timmy. Like the one level in Mario 3, the one course, excuse me, uh, that has like the floor that is just... Um, <clears throat> The floor that is just like entirely munchers and you have to keep getting stars to just run over it for the entire level is very Mario 3. A lot of the underground area like levels uh, later on in the game are pretty Mario Maker with the uh, like, like the, the very there's some very stupid traps that it tries to make you go through um, like stuff that requires certain power. Oh, power up! Excuse me. Yawn. Pinball is training. I think my in my endurance training is running out. Yeah, there are pick up pipe levels in Mario Three. That that's the fucking crazy part. Like like I don't know how much I can really scold little Timmy anymore for his game design. Cause little Shiggy did it first. There is one, there is one level in Mario 2, Japanese version, Lost Levels, um, where uh, you hit, it, it, it is like, the, there's like a star power up that you get, and it's like, oh man, I finally a star, finally some good luck late in the game, like, like you're, you get really excited to get this star power, but somewhere in like World 7, I want to say, uh, it, it, and you, you're like really happy to see like finally something some, something that's gonna make me feel powerful in lost levels 
Uh, it is like a it is a shining a light of a shining light in the darkness that is the lost levels. Um, unfortunately for you, when you get the star, you've already lost because the star is a trick. The star is a trick because if you take it, you're going to go too fast to make a jump, uh, a blind jump. Uh, because if you remember, you know, Mario 2, Mario 1 ha had, like, the, uh, you know, the, the very uh, awkward scrolling, and you can't literally, like, scroll backwards, so... Um, you make a blind jump, and if you have the star, you're, you, you just zoom right over it. Or, or, or no, no, I'm sorry. I, I am misremembering. The start is uh, the start does not speed you up in lost levels. It is um, it, you get the star, but you can't um, getting the star means that you can't bounce off of some paratroopers to cross a gap. Excuse me. That that is the actual thing I am remembering. It is thank you. It is not that it speeds you up in lost levels. That is a mistake on my part. But it's, it, it is a bounce trap, and it's fucked up that they do that. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's like such a Mario Maker thing, because it's just there to make you lose a life the first time you run into that and get a little mad. And then, then you're not going to fall for it again, and then it's just easy. But it's just like, it's, it's like, like, epic troll level stuff. Anyway, boss level sucks. I needed to pop off about that. Sorry. Seven three three. Lost levels is like so bad that like even for the eighties, I cannot believe that they let any of that release. Those levels should have stayed lost. Is all I'm gonna say, but yeah, you know what doesn't have that have have you know any any little tricks or traps like that? Pinball. What you see is what you get with pinball. Like pinball isn't pulling any pranks on you. You know, pinball is honest. Pinball is just between you and Sir Isaac Newton and his gravity and his apples. Like. The levels, the levels are very spiritually lost. That's true. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> I'm going to remember that line because I think that's very, very true about about those levels. Those levels have lost their way. Those levels have no pa uh, no no favor with Rosalina, Palutena, any of them. Rosalina's Comet Observatory uh, sh turns turns its telescopes away from the lost levels. They are in defiance of the natural order. Those levels. The Japanese version of pinball sucks. That's the reason I'm doing worse. The, the, the physics changes that they made when they, they brought this game over to America. You know, the, the West. Uh... No, really, really are what put this game over the edge and gave it the polish that made it into a one-of-a-kind pinball experience. <sighs> that sounds pretty fun, actually. I should try and see if I can get Ogre Battle 64 on my uh, Steam Deck. I don't know shit about it, but it, 
If it has a name like Ogre Battle 64 and I hear it all the time as being a good game, I should probably play it. I am definitely getting, um... I am definitely getting, um... Uh, the Pokemon Pinball games on my Steam Deck after after the stream, though. So I've been watching Pokemon Journeys, the, the current Pokemon anime, a little bit here and there, and um, really, really fucked up that they made Mr. Mime, like, cool in one episode. There's, like, a, a fucking extremely over-animated Sakugaburu bait scene of, like, Mr. Mime dodging punches with his psychic powers. And, um, it, it's not the Ice-type Mr. Mime. It is specifically in the beginning of Pokemon Journeys. Um, Ash gets a job as a research fellow, and his mom, like, leaves Mr. Mime there with him, uh, to, like, take care of him and, like, clean up after him and, like, watch over him and, and be dad. It, it's... For, first of all, it's the most... It's the most proof that Mr. Mime is, like, uh, Ash's da real dad that, that the series has ever offered, because he's, like, being, like... He's being very fatherly and caring uh, while still being a fucking mime. Second of all, Ash starts using the Mr. Mime who is his dad. Um in battle and like the this the specific Mr. Mime um like gets some really cool like battle sequences where he uses fucking focus punch and shit and like puts up psychic walls and like uh and does some insane shit that cannot happen in the video games where he uses barriers so many times that it like completely constricts the movement of a Hariyama And there's, like, a bunch of, like, funny close-ups of Mr. Mime's, like, face when he's, like, being, like, sinister and, like, devious and sneaky in battle. And it, it, it's so, like... None of this would have been happening in the anime if it wasn't for the Detective Pikachu movie. So, the, the, whatever executive or director or writer or producer, like, insisted that the Mr. Mime scene had to stay, like, um basically changed the course of Pokemon forever because um like Mr. Mime is extremely prominent in the anime and uh that's got to also be the reason why they did the 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 Galarian Mr. Mime and Mr. Rhyme because of the movie It's really funny that Mr. Mime is <laughs> is like a big fixture of the anime currently there's a lot of really disconcerting scenes with him where he's, like, doing, like, housework and he, like, has, like, an invisible uh, mime vacuum that he's doing. But then, because he's a fucking psychic, it actually, like, sucks shit up. Uh, like, like, like he sucks the, the sheets off of Ash Ketchum's bed uh, with, the, with the vacuum. And he, uh, he, he does a lot of upsetting things, but he's also, like... Uh, he also, like, teaches everybody, like, uh, aerobics and does yoga with everybody in the morning. Uh, they're really s trying to sell you on the, the, the Mr. Mime who is Ash Ketchum's dad. Anyway, th I think this is going to be my last attempt. Got the tool helmets. 
Uh, there is a nice type Mr. Mime in, in Galar uh, in Sword and Shield. And he evolves into a guy named Mr. Rhyme, R-I-M-E, like like the the, the 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 word for ice. Uh, he, that that he has a new evolution that is Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme is like like a Groucho Marx situation, which is fun. I respect Mr. Rhyme. Oh, she's gonna fall. Give me those points. Okay, that was a pretty good first life. God, it's like the silence is deafening right now. More than more than any other point in the, in the stream. Like somehow, like the silence is really getting to me this time. But I'm I cannot pause. I cannot stop. We're playing this as, as Miyamoto intended. Miyamoto, who I'm sure personally made this pinball game. Somebody's messaging me on Discord. That doesn't happen very often. Now I've got something to look forward to when I'm uh, done playing pinball. I get to see who sent me something. That's so fun! It, this feels like an Iwata game, but it also feels too easy to just say that, like, every, like, uh, simple but mechanically sound uh, and, like, polished NES game is Iwata. <laughs> My honest bet is that it, this game was made by somebody who, uh, it, like, like an unsung hero type programmer. This was any Iwata's first game. Oh, okay. I guess that also makes sense. I always just assume that uh, Iwata's first game was Balloon Fight because that's like the Iwata game, but um I I that that doesn't really make sense either because like 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 um I I feel like it it comes a little too late to have been the Iwata game. Or the first Iwata game. It's his most iconic game. Anyway, uh... Let me sort these, because it's gonna bug me. Yeah, give me the, the release date. God, their box art is so much better than ours. Did Wrecking Crew really come out before? Oh, because it was an arcade game. Yeah, that makes sense. Their box art is so much cooler than ours. Look at all this. They got two gra Gradiuses. Look at her! She's the best! This is my friend right here. I want to meet her. She's so important. I, I need to put her in my Pokemon ROM hack as a trainer class. 
Let's see. What is this with this cool this cool mage? Let's see what are the what are, oh God I love these guys too. This, this these like Ed Ed Nettie ice hockey guys that they have over here. Oh yeah, the original Advance Wars with the box art that looks like this. Uh, Famicom Wars. Sorry. I hope we get some news on the new Advance Wars soon. I really wanted to play it. I, I understand why they had to delay it, but, you know. <laughs> that guy's awesome! Look at him go! NES Super Mario Bros. box art looks bad. I can agree with that. Like, I'm not crazy about it. I think it's a little busy. <laughs> Look at this guy go. What is he doing? He loves his tank. He's so smiley about it. <laughs> That's a great intro. Oh shit, orange it's still orange star and blue moon even back back then. I've I have no idea how to play these this game. I've never seen this game, really. There's no way I could possibly play this. What else they got on here? Uh, I thought that said Joe and Mac too, but that's Japanese characters. <laughs> Super Mario USA. Tech Mobile Gun Deck. God Slayer Adventures of Lolo. Mother. Super Mario Bros. 3. Kirby's Adventure. Wario's Woods. I'm just trying to find where fire... Oh, uh, this is the Shin Megami Tensei? One of them, Shin Megami Tensei If, I think, is this one? Uh, I know they have Fire Emblem 1. Do they have Gaiden? And I know um, the, the Super Nintendo app has, like, Fire Emblem 4? Obviously, the version of Fire Emblem 1 that's on here is not in the English version, like that 30th anniversary jail copy, but where is it? Oh, duh, right here. There's two special versions. That's why I'm I'm blanking on it. I really want to say that they, I thought they had the, I thought they had Fire Emblem Gaiden, but I guess not. Yeah, it, it, I always forget that, like, the original Fire Emblem games were very, uh, not very story-heavy. <laughs> uh, a lot le like, story-heavy for the time, I'm sure, but not really, um, not really what you'd expect from the series as it is now. And then around, like, Fire Emblem 3 and 4, uh, Especially after three is when it gets pretty nuts. So I, I know that like the the remakes had to like really embellish the contents of the the Eddie's Fire Emblem games. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's about it. Um, thank you for joining me for uh five hours or so of pinball, five hours and forty four minutes. But there, you know there were some breaks in there, some some of me fucking around, some of me wa making you watch a Home Star Runner cartoon. Uh, but yeah, um, let's see. I don't think I have anybody I can make host. I can send a raid to, right? I don't think I know anybody who's streaming right now. Uh. Not that it really matters, but I'll check. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I know what I'll send you to. Uh, there is a, a, a Metroid Dread uh, event going on the GDQ stream right now. I kind of want to just watch that, so I'm going to raid, raid it so that way I can go see it. <laughs> uh, I'll see you around. Thank you for joining me.